All right, I'm I'm really excited about showing you guys this flight with the Volantex P51D Mustang. I now have the best performance that I've had with that plane so far. It's it's really easy to get good performance out of your power system. It's a lot more difficult to get good performance and a good amount of flight time out of your power system. All right, so I had been, I've been flying it with the JXF 7x4 two-blade prop. And out of all the props I've tested so far, that gave me the best performance in flight time. Well, I had I had used the Jim Van APC style 7x5 two-blade thin electric prop on the XK A280 P51 on 2S LiPo, and it gave me the best performance. And, and still got really good flight time on that plane. So I went back and I looked at my numbers with the Racer Star BR 2208 1400 kV motor, which is what I have installed on the P51D Mustang, the, the Volantec 750 millimeter wingspan. And on the bench test, the, mo the, the, the numbers on 3S did not look good. The all up weight on that plane is 374 grams using my Tattoo 3S. 650 milliamp hour 75 C lipo which fits really well in that plane and the numbers that I was getting on the bench with the JXF 7x4 two blade prop I was getting 517 grams of thrust at full throttle with the 7x5 two blade prop I was only getting like um, 481 grams at full full throttle and it was pulling slightly more amps than the JXF 7x4. So I was contemplating replacing that 2208 with a 2212 to get better performance out of it. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to throw that 7x5 prop on there and take it out and perform a flight on it just to see what kind of performance it gives me. I didn't expect it to give me very good performance. I actually took the JXF 7x4 two-blade prop out there with me because I just knew that after I performed one flight with that 7x5 prop, I was going to want to put the 7x4 back on. Well, it gave me fantastic performance, and I'm still going to get a full six minutes of flight time out of it, flying it the way I fly it. And right now, with that 7x5 prop, I would say that's probably the highest performance mini Warbird that I have out of the three of that size that I have. So anyway, I will meet you out at the field and I'll show you what a great combination this, this Racer Star BR 2208 1400 kV motor is with this Jim Fan APC style 7x5 thin electric prop. What a good combination that is on 3S. So if you've got a, a similar aircraft, similar in size and similar of weight, in weight um, that power system is a really good combination with that prop on the 3S for really good power and really good flying time. I'll see you out there. All right, launching. Ah, that's a better launch than I had before. Okay. Let's come through here and do a loop. Holy crap. That is awesome. Okay. We'll try a vertical now. That is slick, guys. That is slick. <laughs> I can't believe how long I've had this plane. 
and I haven't destroyed it yet. Not completely, I've had a couple of good crashes with it. Oh yeah. I've got one of my tattoo, 3S, 650 milliamp hour, 75 C lipos in it. I've got my timer set for four minutes. I could get a good, I could get a complete six minute flight out of it. I'm um, leaving 3.6 volts in the cell, pushing it pretty hard, but um, I usually have a lot of traffic coming through here. And so, Look at that, big, huge, wide loop. So better safe than sorry. I would rather land it early than take a chance on running out of juice and, and having to ditch it in the scrub and perform another repair on it. Man, that is awesome, guys. That is awesome. I would say that's the highest performance warbird of this size that I have now. With a 7x5 prop on here. I don't think the other two can pull vertical like that. See if we can bring it in. See if I can see if I can slow it down enough, but not slow it down too much. Get it over the lane here. Oh, don't tip over on me. Ugh. <laughs> So let's go over, back over here and check the battery. Um, I was pushing it pretty hard most of the time. Even in straight and level flight and in the turns, I was putting quite a bit of throttle in it. So let's see how much voltage we've got left in the pack and in the cells. But I'm just ecstatic um, with this P51 now. I'm I'm kind of sad that I didn't kind of sad that I didn't test that prop on it earlier. I've had this plane for so long and I could have had this type of performance the whole time if I had tested it out. Well, let's see here. Let me shut down that transmitter. All right, let me see if I can hold it up here where you can see it. All right, 11.37 for the pack, not bad. Uh, 3.78, 3.79, 3.79. So that's not bad, just under 3.8 volts per cell. I had it in the air for, I don't know, I should have checked the, I should have checked the timer. The timer went off right before I was making my final turn in to land, so probably about four minutes and 15 seconds, 4 minutes, and 20 seconds, somewhere around there, is the amount of time that I had it in the air. So, um, yeah, I think I could get a full 6-minute flight out of it if I could land when I needed to. But um, absolutely fantastic, man. That is, that is uh, one fast, powerful P-51 Mustang now. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the air.